Welcome to Shane Talk. I'm your host, Kimberly Chapman, and I'm here with entrepreneur, mother, and new fiance from Ease Wags, LA. Telly Did I say that right? Yes, you did. Telly. How'd you get that name? Um, you know what? It came from high school when I was playing basketball. I don't play sports anymore. <laughs> um, I wish I did. My knees are probably bad now. Really? You yes. played a lot. I did. I played um, from middle school up until high school. I uh, ended up getting pregnant when I was 19 in college. So I did homeschooling for a little while. Mm -hmm. And then I got my bachelor's of science in nursing, became a nurse. And, really? Yeah. Gave up my career for my man. Like oh we do as women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. You need to stop that though, don't you think? Yeah, absolutely. And that's, yeah. um, in the show, I, I spoke about that in the show. Uh -huh. I gave up my career for him to focus on his career and build his empire with him. Right. So after the show, I built my empire and started all over from scratch. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you've done all of that in how much time? Because you are a new mommy. Yes. And your baby's yes. name is? Kaori. Kaori. Yes. And you gave me the, the, the definition behind that. So let yes. the world know. Yes. So it pretty much is the name that my son, Karan, gave my daughter. and. My man wanted a Japanese name, so it means strength in Japanese, and we nicknamed her KO, like knockout. Knockout. Yeah. Because daddy knocks them all out. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> so now you, he proposed to you on the show. Yes. He, so our story was pretty much, um, I didn't want to play house anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we were dating for three years. We talked about marriage previous to the show. Um, I lost a baby two years ago from stress, and mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? We're not having any babies until we get married. So he was like, you're not going anywhere, and we did that battle for a while until I was like, okay, I'm pregnant. I found out I was pregnant while we were filming, in the middle of filming. So um, he, I pretty much gave him an ultimatum. I was like, you know, we're either going to co-parent or we're going to be together the right way, and that's it. Mm -hmm. So um, at the gender reveal, he proposed, and I had the girl that I wanted, and he proposed, and I just cried. Oh, that's so sweet. Yes. So how does it feel being the mother of a daughter? Um, it's different than a son. It's a little harder. She's mm -hmm. a little diva. <laughs> like <laughs> just, mama. Yeah, like me, <laughs> like me. So um, she's an Aquarius like me, so I just love her. And, and what is his, his uh, sign? He's a Libra. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh, they think they balanced and they're not balanced. Amen. Amen. <laughs> they are not balanced. <laughs> they are not balanced. I got some on production here. I know they're turning and looking oh, funny man. at me right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my That's gosh. Good. So how do you balance life with being on the TV and the new fiance? And then you have to, a long-distance relationship. Yes. So um, I write everything down. I have a calendar, a weekly calendar. Um, I try to make time when he's here. He comes every other week. So when he's here, I like clear my schedule and just have family time with him and the baby. Um, when he's not here, I'm working 24 seven. I have a clothing line, which I give you a present. Um, yes, I have a phone accessory um, that's actually in Target, Kohl's. Really? Yes, and hopefully, fingers crossed, Apple soon. <laughs> So, That's awesome. Yes. Oh my gosh, y'all hear that? She's doing a lot. Yes. So what do you think? Will, will you be back on WAGS LA or? Um, we're actually, uh, we haven't heard from E mm -hmm. in, so it finished airing in February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. So it's been seven months okay. since the last episode. So since then, we've been shopping around other networks to have our own show, our own mm -hmm. spinoff show with our family and our um, blended kids. So I know you were telling me you got five, six, seven, mm -hmm. about ten children. Out right? There. Yeah, almost, almost. <laughs> that's a lot. You got a lot. Dude. Yeah, that's a lot for you. For you. Yeah, it's a You're lot. You gonna have to have like two or three nannies. I'm saying, and he's very like southern mm -hmm. and country so he's like you could do everything by yourself and i'm like oh no we need a nanny oh my god no he didn't <laughs> yes i had to get a nanny on my own without him knowing because i was like i can't run a business and be a mom and no. take care of these kids and just do it without any help so. that's amazing no he didn't no you didn't <laughs> say she could do it by herself he did. Yeah, we got a lot to say, a lot to learn when we get back from this commercial.
break. We'll be right back. <laughs> talk I am here still with Telly Swift and it's been amazing because you know these southern men they are too much they're a lot for much <laughs> yeah too much and so you dealing with that like we have women have to have their own careers so he needs to understand that absolutely and you also had to deal with racial profiling oh yeah so um when i was pregnant on new year's eve mm -hmm. i was in dolce and cabana at the beverly center and they accused me of stealing a purse and mind you i was nine months pregnant and i just had <gasps> my bag and a little cup of water and i was like well where's the purse that I stole, you know, and I don't know if they thought I swallowed it because I was clearly <laughs> pregnant. So um, I called my lawyer and he told me to film everything. Um, it was three days before my show aired on TV. So wow. I had a lot of um, deformation of character. People mm -hmm. thought I was arrested. Um, wow. Yeah. And so the issue was they said I fit the profile and the profile was African American with flip flops. They didn't even say a pregnant woman. So. So that's the whole situation. <laughs> that's amazing. Are you going? Are you going to court or anything? Oh yeah, that? yeah. We filed a lawsuit against uh, the Beverly Center, um, Dolce and Cabana, and Mall Security. So did they have to search you and all that? Uh, well, we didn't go to the back. So what happened was uh, Mall Security brought us into the store in in the middle of the door and the cash register. Mm -hmm. So we were standing. Mind you, I'm nine months pregnant. They didn't offer me a seat. They didn't offer me water. We were just standing. And they said they were going to go back and watch the film. Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, can I go back and watch the film since you guys accused me of stealing? I want to see myself right. steal if that's what happened. So they said, no, just stay here. So they came back and said, we're free to go. No apology, no compensation, no nothing. So wow. I was like, you guys will be hearing from my lawyers. And... It's That's history amazing. Mm -hmm. Wow. So do you ever think you would go back into nursing? Um, you know what? I thought about it for a while. I don't want to work for anyone else. Mm -hmm. So if, if I do go back into that field, I want to start my own plastic surgery recovery center. Okay. And oh, that would yeah, be nice. Yeah, like a luxury plastic yeah. surgery recovery center where you could heal with nurses' aid mm -hmm. and um, in like a hotel setting. Okay. So it's not... So it's not like you feel like you're in a hospital or in the privacy of your own home where we have nurses come to your home and, and assist you. Okay. So I do want to reiterate, and uh, you told me that you have a gift for me. So yes, I'm excited about yes. my gift. But you have your own line. Yes. So I, what's the name of the line? It's my name. It's Telly Swift. So uh -huh. I have. I just started a clothing brand. Mm -hmm. um, I gifted you with a loungewear. Oh. Yes. I'm going to wear it. <laughs> <laughs> it's comfy. It's super comfortable. I like comfort. Super comfortable. If you pair it with like a good belt, a good mm -hmm. thick belt, it'd be perfect. You could wear it out. You could dress it down. It's, it's perfect. And I also gave you one of my Monet's, which is a phone accessory that right. I have that's a three-in-one. It's a kickstand, a grip, and a wallet. I love it. Mm -hmm. You are so, so entrepreneurial. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be like you when oh I grow gosh, up. That is awesome. And what else? Um, I have a nonprofit organization, mm -hmm. a Boxing Wags Association, where we have, um, it's pretty much compromised of women that are wives and girlfriends of retired and active boxers. Mm -hmm. And we pretty much help the community. Um, I'm doing a turkey drive for Thanksgiving, giving turkeys to the homeless, mm -hmm. um, battered women, and children. So... Oh, wow. Yeah. That's amazing. You're amazing. Everybody, y'all got to get to know Telly Swift. Thank How you. can we reach you? Um, it's my name, Telly Swift, T-E-L-L-I-S-W-I-F-T, on social media. Inter I'm, I'm sorry, the internet. 
Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. My website is www.tellyswift.com. Wow. <laughs> you know, I, I was just sitting here. Instead of you all being called, well, of course, they've already had the Brady Bunch. But you all should be called maybe the, the what, what's the last name again? Wilder. Wilder Bunch. you right. That would be great. The Wilder <laughs> Bunch. Oh, and that's the perfect name. Wilder Bunch. Yeah, the Wilder. <laughs> A bunch of Wilders. <laughs> A bunch of Wilders. They got to do that. Right? Yeah, that would be awesome. Thank you so much for being Thank with us. Thank you for I having me. I can't wait me. to see my, my, my gift. Yes. Have a good day. Thank you so much for tuning into another episode of Sheen Talk. For more episodes, make sure you visit our YouTube channel and subscribe. Have a great day.